Well, good morning, good to see you. Day 170 of our daily broadcast from Shawhook Church during the Corona crisis. For uh, friends and family and those who join in with us each day, God bless you, good to see you again this morning. And uh, indoors again now. <laughs> Autumn has arrived, it would seem. There we are, never mind. Um, yeah, at the end of another week. Where does the time go? Um, of course, over the season while we've been um preparing our sunday services uh, for online um etc the friday has become the new sunday for me um because of all the recording that we need to do etc to prepare the service um and to to see we're back to another friday <laughs> where has 170 days gone i don't know but it, we just give thanks to god who brought us through and uh without injury or without harm and uh, we continue to look to him um and it's quite interesting isn't it as, as we come at uh, this time to psalm 7 and, and seeing how david is is just um under this relentless pressure uh from cush the benjamite who who's come up with all these arguments and pretensions and and um trying to just pull david down and and uh and David's appeal to the court of heaven, um, you know, it just helps us so much, doesn't it? Come on, we, <laughs> there's so much to be done. There's so much uh, that the Lord is, has opened up the opportunities for us to to reach out into the community. Um, such a blessing. And and starting to see some fruit that's developing, uh, which is so, so encouraging and and there will be there will be more and i'm just encouraged by the the stories i'm hearing so far um and there will be so many more um and as the the yes the lockdown the restrictions are are, are being lifted we we thank the lord for that uh, little by little bit by bit um but we also realize that the significant uh, impact that this whole season has had on the economy and on people's lives on mental health um and uh, it 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 will be um a season that will continue um and the the uh, the needs are going to be huge and the opportunity for the church to rise and be what god has called us to be a light in the darkness wow thick darkness uh, isaiah called it thick darkness over the people wow so thick you can virtually feel it and and boy can you you know like it was um in, in egypt you know uh it was it was dark in egypt but goshen where the israelites were they were they they were in the light and and here we are um the, the same is true sure the the light of the gospel is to be shining bright from from us um and uh into a dark dark um world that that is fraught with with fear um disillusionment as we mentioned yesterday um and and all those issues that just keep coming back and back because they don't know how to how to deal with it so um we've got work to do okay here we are psalm 7 uh david i uh, hope you brought your bucket and spade today <laughs> we're going to see we're going to seaside it made me smile when i was reading the, the next verse in our study verse 15 uh, we're going to go digging a hole today <laughs> and um, i think it was new key i've been trying to remember which which beach uh, we took um, the, the children i think it was new key um in west wales um and uh, digging a hole in the in the sand and then with uh, one game or another throwing a fris frisbee or whatever and of course i ended up falling backwards into the hole i dug <laughs> Yeah, of course, great hilarity at the time. Um, <laughs> and that's what we're going to be looking at this morning. Um, so David said to start the psalm, Lord, save me. Then he said, Lord, search me. I'm not guilty. I know I'm not guilty, but just in case I am. 
<laughs> Lord, you do. You search me. I can trust you. I can trust your ways. I trust your searchlight um, to, to find if there's any wicked way in me. Support me, uh, was David's cry. In, in amongst all this mess, in amongst all these accusations, all these lies, all the innuendo, um, all the intrigue, it's, Lord, support me. And then he says, Lord, shield me. And that's where we're finishing the psalm. Um, and that most um, amazing thought we had yesterday, um, the Lord who is for us and not against us, who is fighting our battles. This is how I fight my battles is one of the modern worship songs which we've sung over recent weeks. Uh, this is how I fight my battles. Uh, the Lord is for you, not against you. He's He's fighting your battles for for us. We trust him. We give it all over to him. And it's in the praise of our mouth uh, that uh, we're able to defeat the enemy when we give praise to God despite the circumstance and despite the situation which causes uh, the enemy to be to become as we said yesterday disillusioned they're pregnant with evil trouble con is conceived right at every turn whichever way they try and go whatever try they try and do it seems to fall apart around them and then when the baby comes it comes and its name is disillusionment Whew. wow and the trouble that brings okay now we're digging the hole all right it's not just any hole <laughs> we're not just going to dig any hole um this is a a trap that's what we, that's what we're talking about. It's not just any hole hole on New Key Beach. This is a trap, uh, a plan that's been put together. <laughs> okay, come on, we'll say the word. It, a plan that's been hatched. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, uh, to cause someone else to fall. Mm. That's what we're talking about. Um, and he, here it is. Maybe when you devise such a plan. Um, when Cush was putting his scheme together, he would have worked out something of David's weakness. He, he would know uh, something of maybe a weakness in his character or a weakness in, in, his, um, in his habits or a weakness in his, his state of mind. What, this, this digging of a hole is, um, is very, very strategic and it is pre-planned um um uh, premeditated as they say um for for those who commit murder isn't it premeditated murder um it, it's a premeditated pre-planned um scheme that's been put together strategically specifically um with david in mind knowing something about him so let's just read it from psalm 7 from yesterday, he who is pregnant with evil and conceives trouble gives birth to disillusionment. He who digs a hole and scoops it out falls into the pit he has made. <laughs> okay, so that's where we, that's where we are today. So it's, this is a, a pit, a trap that's been dug specifically, strategically with David's weakness in mind. Well, beware, because the trap you dig, the hole that you have dug out, you'll fall into it yourself. <laughs> it's interesting, because I'll tell you the, the verse that springs to my mind, it might spring to your mind, um, Isaiah 54, verse 17. Um, we quote it, quote it quite possibly fairly regularly. Um, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. No tongue that is raised shall stand, yeah? Okay, Isaiah 54, 17. Now, interestingly, that word that says um, no weapon that is formed against me, actually, a better translation of the word is forged. And the, the implication of that is actually that the weapon has been specifically made for for attacking a specific target mm. it's been in it's been crafted individually forged 
with a particular issue in hand. Hmm. You see, the enemy knows our weaknesses. He knows he knows how we're you know how how we're likely to fall, and that's where we need the Lord. Yes, to be our shield, to be our guard, to be our protection. And we shield ourselves, not in our own strength, but in him. The word of God. We know what it is to put on the armour of God. The helmet of salvation. We know what it is to keep our mind focused on what is right, what is true, what is holy, what is good. Uh, all these things we've learned, and, and I'm sure you, you over the last 170 days, have learned how to apply those things. And I encourage you to continue to do that. Please, we, we must keep continuing to do that because there is an enemy. Um, and it's not flesh and blood that we fight against its principalities and powers and and the weapons are forged developed put together the trap is dug not spasmodically in, in a random place but in a place where in our own strength we would fall into it but god's way of doing things is so different because those who have determined, who will not relent, who do not repent, who do not turn away from their their way of trying to pull um, pull you down, and their determined scheming and planning, their hatching of a plan that will put them in in a place of digging a hole for you to fall in and for me to fall into. They fall into it themselves. <laughs> of course, the scripture that no doubt is is in your mind today as as you've thought this through. Have a read of Esther again. I mean, have a look. It's a short book. I mean, it's a, just a fabulous story. Um, read Esther and ch chapter seven. Of course, is 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 the chapter where Haman, who has schemed and 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 put together his he's hatched a plan to to get rid of Mordecai. And um, um, but with Esther in in in, in place, um, she speaks to the king, and and makes the king realize that Mordecai was a friend, and had uh, had um, brought into an into the open another scheme that was against the king years before, and so uh, the king is now wanting to to give Mordecai the 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 honor and the praise and etc. And uh, it was a banquet, and Mordecai is is, is um, honoured, and uh, Haman, who who had built a gallows for uh, Mordecai to be hung on, um, his his scheming and his planning is exposed um, against the Jews, and uh, and he himself is hung on his own gallows. I mean, there there it is. If you dig a pit. Um, with a scheme and a plan to try and bring down a God's man or woman, then be, be beware you fall into it yourself. The same hole that you've dug. <laughs> so stop digging. Amen. I, I keep digging this hole and I can't get out. Yeah, stop digging. <laughs> oh, God is good. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. I pray you know that today. And if you've been caught in a place of digging a hole with a scheme and a plan and, and all these issues in your heart, beware um, if disillusionment hasn't already been born, then stop digging because you want to you wanna make sure you don't fall into the same hole yourself. Be blessed. Have a good day today. And uh, here we go as we prepare ourselves for another weekend and uh, knowing God's blessing. Um, and in fact, it'll be our last weekend our virtual service before we're back together in, in Sure Hope for the 13th of September. So um, these are exciting days, lots to do, things to, things to do, people to see, place to go, and it doesn't seem to be enough time to do it all in. Never mind. 
Heavenly Father, we thank you for your goodness to us. We thank you that you are for us and not against us, that you love us with an everlasting love and you are bringing us into that place of fulfillment of all that you have planned for us to do. Your plans cannot be thwarted and we just pray for those who have been digging a hole, who, Lord, I pray, will relent and turn and repent of their ways and will come to knowing you in all your fullness. Oh, Lord, that we're able to worship and adore the God who has brought us out of darkness into a wonderful light. And Lord, that where we are able to see clearly, oh, we pray for those who are in that darkness today. Lord, bring them into the light. Help us to be able to lead them to know Christ as their saviour. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.